welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. And if you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I randomly choose one from my new notifications. So today we are doing a mod review, which I am super excited about. I saw this a couple of days ago and I'm just now getting around to downloading it and putting it in my game and checking it out. So it is called Sim State: The Sims 3 Open for Business Mini Expansion. I am so excited to check this out. So it's, we can take a look at some of the pictures here and it kind of shows you, you can become a business owner and I guess it could be any business you want. Uh, and I am just... <laughs> So excited because I really loved Sims 2 open for business. So these are just a few photos. And I guess this is like you can change their career. And ooh, do we get okay? I'm excited. Let's take a look into this. Okay, so it says, Welcome to Sim State, a new mini expansion focused on adding adding ownable stores to the game in an open-ended format. Create a store, hire employees, set objects for sale without rugs. We love that. Uh, restock objects and earn XP on sales to increase your rank and more. So it says, disclaimer, the mod has been thoroughly tested by myself and other simmers, but due to the nature of public release, I cannot guarantee you won't run into a new one. As a rule, make, um, as a rule, make backups to keep your safe safe, but you can shut down a business by purchasing a computer and using the manage business option on the lock and this should fix any sim state specific issues for a buggy lot Alrighty, so it says the features are ownable stores create and run stores across town you can open a maximum of one business per lot there are no limits on uh, the amount of stores you can run wow okay uh, so you have to have, it looks like, pay the thousand simoleons set up fee and start today. So you have to have at least a thousand simoleons in order to start your business, which makes sense because, you know, you have to have money to start a business. So uh, I love the fact that you have to actually have money. You can't just like start with no money. So, all right, we can hire and manage employees. Use a scripted OFB register to manage uh, your store and hire and fire employees. Call them into work and assign them roles. You can even switch households and work at a store run by another sim, create managers and complex economy systems around your town, running an upmarket boutique, customize your employee uniforms to match the style. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay. So we have XP and ranks. Stores level up in rank similar to resorts using a custom UI system. You can earn up to five stars, which allow for more employees and higher prices. Okay, cool. Customer satisfaction points. Inspired by a similar mechanic used in Sims 2, your businesses earn points for each purchase. These per uh, use these points to purchase a thousand simoleon cash reward or a security system. Okay, I was just about to say, when I saw that guy getting arrested, I bet that we can, uh, we, we get robbed. And as you can see here, it says petty theft. Yep, a crime can be an issue for your stores. Keep an eye out on the Sims eager for a freebie. If you see a notification pop up and your stock diminishing, you may be able to catch the thief quickly by clicking on them and using the stop thief interaction. This will call the police and have them arrested. Purchase the security system to automatically call them and halt any negative impact on your customer satisfaction points. Okay, so, but we have to have, um, points in order to do that so hopefully that won't be too big of a problem well, i don't know we'll see uh keep an eye out on those kleptos and evil sims trista better stay out of this store but it's kind of giving me a little bit of ideas in my head here uh anyone with the right motive can leave you missing a few items mystery shoppers randomly sims that visit your store will have a chance of being a mystery shopper which will earn you a nice bonus to funds keep objects stocked up and prices fair to stand the best chance of high rewards can you get a perfect 100 out of 100 score? Probably not, but I will try. <laughs> All right, frugal, frugal Sims. Not everyone will be happy with your inflated prices. Keep some objects set to a low markup to ensure frugal Sims don't complain. Power surges. Randomly during thunderstorms, your Sims have a chance to experience a power cut. <gasps> That is so awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. It says, don't worry though, they don't last long, usually. Uh, there's a custom UI and new in-game lessons. Okay, a few visual improvements to the notification system. Give a look, a fresh look to the game. You can also find eight new lessons under the Sim State heading. Well, after months of work in Great Sims community, I am pleased to finally release the mod as mentioned above. It may have a few outstanding bugs, but hopefully nothing too serious. Let me know how you find it in the comments. 
I am super freaking excited. I would love to see what's in store, what stores you run with Sims State. So please post about the mod and your experience on social media and YouTube. Well, I am going to be posting this on YouTube. So yay. <laughs> I am super excited. Okay. So Sim State Dude and Co. So I guess Sim State Dude is the name of the creator. Um, where am I missing that? Oh yeah, sent by Sim State and Co. Okay, so that is the creator. This is the mod. Um, there is one file that you download right here, and you just put it in your mods packages folder, and then you pop in the game, and it's gonna be in your game, and you are Gucci. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna jump into game. I have already built my store, and. We're going to take a look at what we can do okay, with so this So we're mod. in game and this is my store. We're in Appaloosa Plains and like I said in my runaway teen, don't judge my building skills. I suck at building. I suck at decorating. I literally threw this together really, really quickly. Uh, that's why there's like no like decorations outside other than literally these two bushes right here because uh, I really wanted to get into um, the, you know, gameplay and kind of check out this mod. So like I said, we're in Appaloosa Plains. I created a pet store if you guys can't tell. Uh, so yeah, this is my really terrible pet store, but whatever, we're here and we're going to check out the mod. So obviously the first thing you have to do is get a computer, which I have already done. This is the inside of my store. I don't know what you're doing here and why you're here because I haven't even opened my store, but this is my little pet store. It's, I don't know. It's just a pet store. Uh, there's like the little cat section over here and I put like the little feline uh, little guy over here. And then over here, I, I mean, it says discouraged stray, but I wanted to kind of you know, make it known that this is the dog area and that's the cat area. I don't know what I was really thinking with that, but that's what I did. And then over here, we've got a couple of extra things. We've got the bird stuff. We've got the, I'm missing a dragon egg. There were three of them. What? Did somebody already rob me and I haven't even opened the store? Whatever. Uh, and then of course we have like the little terrariums and stuff like that. And is it this little girl? Because I also had a little brick guy here and now he's not there. Are you stealing my shit? And I haven't even opened the store. This is absolutely my luck. <laughs> Anyways, outside are some of the more bigger items, you know, stuff for your horses. And then I got the chicken coops and, you know, a little cat house thingy and all that stuff. I just put down some random stuff. I just, first thing I thought of was a pet store because I love animals. So I was like, oh, let's do a pet store. So basically, um, I purchased this lot and then I went ahead and placed down this computer over here, went to, it was like business. And then I had to like, you know, obviously, um, open the business and stuff like that. And then I have this little cash register here, which it has all the things that we need. Oh, and yes, I, I named this place. Oh, my dog, because, um, I wanted to, <laughs> so that's what it's called. Oh, my dog at the store. L just leave me alone. Okay. I was having fun with this. Uh, so it says show business info. So all oh, my dog is a one star pet shop. Uh, opening times I have not set. So I'm going to have to set those account balance zero total z sales, zero rank one XP zero zero because we're just we haven't been open so there's that so we're gonna set an opening time it is 1 p.m right now so i guess i'll do like maybe nine Ooh, why is it oh yeah okay 9 a.m oh do we just hit nine okay all right whatever set the closing time how about 10 we'll set it for 10 p.m i guess we'll see how that goes it's closed right now um, oh, we have to also toggle and set items for sale. So it's going to take you to this little thing here and you can see all of the, all the yellow items are the items that you can set for sale. I am obviously just going to be setting all of the animal things. Can we not? Oh, okay. We can. Um, I want to set that for sale, but she's like, damn stole it from me uh, all right so we're gonna set everything for sale not those signs because those are just well i guess if you want it you can have that sign no you know what i don't want to sell the sign uh let's set all this stuff for sale okay i went ahead and set everything up for sale and i just clicked the toggle set for sale again and everything went back to normal so the next thing we need to do is obviously hire some employees 
Um, business rewards. Okay, so this is where you get the thousand civilian cash reward or the security system. So I can't wait till we can get the security system. That will be kind of nice. Uh, so we need to manage employees and we're going to hire employees. So I guess we can literally hire anyone in town. So who shall we, who shall we hire to work here with us? Um... Let's see. I don't know who I want to hire. Who will be a good hire to get some, you know, people to sell stuff? Because hopefully we can, like, be like, hey, buy this object. <laughs> that might be a little a little weird, though. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's invite Honey Darnell to be our employee. Congratulations on hiring a new employee. Welcome, Honey Darnell, to the team. So this is what the new, like, little UI notification looks like. It's kind of nice. I don't mind it, uh, but I'm just not used to it yet. So then let's see here. Show employee info. Okay, so we're obviously an employee, like... I don't know if we have to like set ourselves as anything. Show employee info, send home for the day, change wage, change role. We're gonna be a manager, obviously. Okay, you have changed Charlotte Ford's role to manager. Don't forget to uh, different roles have different base pay. Check amounts to make sure you have enough in your business account to cover their costs. Okay, we have 12,000 simoleons to like kind of start out with. So what I'm gonna do is call her in and says, you have just called in all employees. They should arrive soon. And we're gonna just, go ahead and open up the store. Oh, my dog it is now open. And I'm just going to see kind of how this goes. I really don't know. I really want to know who stole my little brick guy that was over here and also a dragon egg. Like, okay, girl, like if you're not going to purchase it, you need to leave. Like, how did you even get in here when the store is closed? Honey Darnell is retired with a pension of 100 simoleons per day. Oh, wait, from like from here? Or do they just... Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, there's people here now all of a sudden. Okay, this is going real fast. Uh, so wait, did Honey, is this Honey right here? No, where is she? Did she quit her job? Did, I guess maybe they do have to quit their job in order to, I hope she didn't retire from, oh, he bought something. <gasps> Zach Whipsnake bought something. Oh my gosh, okay, he bought, did he really buy, he bought the snake to, oh my God, okay. Uh, he's obsessed, obviously. Let's see if we can maybe do anything in order to like get him to like buy other things or more things so how do we how do we get this to do we have to go back into toggle set for sale how come we can't oh what did she buy she bought an egg okay Oh, okay. I guess restock snake terrarium. I was sitting here thinking she's got to like put a snake in there, but I get it. I get it. Sorry, guys. That that took me a minute. Oh my God. This is so cute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is adorable. Look at her. She gets her little like her little paper out and she's like really thinking about what she's doing here. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cute. I have to take a screenshot. I love that little added detail. Like, she's got her paperwork. She's got to make sure that she's, you know, taking care of business here. Okay, so awesome. That just got restocked. So let's go ahead and restock the dragon egg. And where is, where is my employee? Oh, she's out here. Honey, what the fuck are you doing? Manage employee. Send home for the day fire. Change role. Store assistant. Maybe that's why. Um, and let's see, manage employees, manage uniform. Let's have her change into uniform. I don't know if we have to actually give her a uniform or if she's just going to change into one herself. Let's see here. So you changed into the outfit you were already wearing or am I missing something? Anyways, why the fuck are you not inside the store? Can you please come inside? Like, Hello? Take a break from playing. Am if I going to put this guitar? Oh my God. She's driving me nuts. Take a break from playing. And I went ahead and took her uh, celebrity level away so that I can like introduce myself to her. And honestly, this outfit would probably be good for Appaloosa Plains, like, you know, as a pet shop owner, because, you know, whatever. So is she actually doing anything or... Okay, you're talking to the customers. Literally literally leave the computer alone we don't even need to bother with this whatsoever can i like manage business shut down business deposit funds withdraw funds what was the 20 simoleons let me see here manage employee 
Show employee info. Okay, Honey Darnell, store assistant, current wage, 10 simoleons. Okay. How do we get more people? Change, change wage, send home for the day. Let's do a friendly introduction is what I was trying to do. Everybody's literally standing and reading a book. Can we tell them to leave? Like, what the hell? <laughs> We're trying to, like, say hi to our new employee. Oh, are you going to purchase something? Maybe? Maybe? Let me see here. Can we literally tell you to do anything now? No. We can't tell you to, like, freaking go do something. No. Okay. We can't. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, let's come over here and show business info. Oh, she just bought something else. Okay. So we have negative two simoleons. Love that. Total sales, 825. Rank 1, XP, 882. Customer satisfaction, 3 points. Okay, so she just purchased that. We're going to come over here and do a friendly introduction to her as well. See if we can maybe befriend her or get her to do something. If you don't buy this rock by the end of this video, I'm going to be very pissed off at you. <laughs> Okay, we're going to introduce ourselves to her, and then we're going to, let's see, is there anything we can do? Yeah, we can't really, like, tell them, like, hey, go buy stuff, but we're they're purchasing stuff. At least she is, so let's see. I was hoping more people would come over here, but so far, nobody else All is right, here. Zap, zap, <laughs> Zach Whipsnake went ahead and purchased the biscuit ball, so we're going to come over here and restock that as well. And I think I'm going to, like, get rid of this chair because everyone's trying to sit down in this chair for some reason. And it's kind of... Okay. She stole the rock! She stole my rock! Don't worry, Chantel. Don't worry. We'll come for you. I'm just kidding. She stole my fucking rock. She probably stole the other one, too. Whatever. Just take... Take the damn rock and go home. Okay, so I was having issues the previous night with Sims still walking into the store. So I put the Savvy Seller door on here and I went ahead and set the uh, the time for 8 to 7 just so people won't come inside the store because it was getting really irritating uh, when nobody was here. And I'm like, oh my god, this is definitely how someone could steal something maybe. Uh, so... I changed the door. I don't know if that really makes much of a difference or if it's just whatever. Uh, so, yeah. And also something I noticed that I thought was really, really cool. Once the store opens, your Sims automatically head over here. You don't have to have them, like, send them here. They automatically go over here. She's here. So we're good to go. And don't mind her. She's just having her breakfast that she didn't quite get to get uh, before she left. Why is it closed? Who closed the store? Open. We're opening the store. Like, seriously? Come back in here. Put the damn book down. I'm about tired of you all reading books. We're selling this book, okay? Go inside. Hopefully, if you, oh my God. I hired the wrong ass person. I'm about to fire her and hire someone new. Let's do it. Let's, we might as well. Where are you going? Are you going home? She knows I'm going to fire her. Oh my God. Okay, manage employees. Uh, we're going to call an employee and we're going to fire her because she's irritating me and we're going to hire somebody new. But I really want her to come over here and try to get a cute little picture of her by okay, the... I had to get uh, a cute little screenshot of her over here in front of the register. Uh, I'm hoping that Honey's going to come over because I am firing her because she is useless. All she does is play freaking guitar. Ooh, okay, we have... Is she... Oh, I was, oh, she's right here. Okay, we're going to fire her. But first things first, this lady looks like she might be on a mission to go purchase something. So we love to see that. We freaking love to see it. Oh, nope, nope. Not going to purchase that. Nobody's purchased anything from the cat area yet. So hopefully she will. There we go. Thank you, lady, for your freaking sale. Let's check our business info. So we are at 16 simoleons, 980 total sale, uh, five customer satisfaction points. I was kind of hoping we were going to like possibly have someone steal from us or have a mystery shopper but i'm sure you have to like play it for a while for that to happen but we are coming out here and firing her because i've actually had enough oh, i guess we're not really gonna come out here she's just gonna get fired she's been fired she has a severance pay of 30 simoleons you can now hire a new sim okay so let's come back over here and try to 
hire someone that is hopefully better than her ass because literally she's irritating who do we think is going to be better should we try a let's you know calvin are you right outside riffin you come work here because your daughter stole a couple of things of mine so you're my new employee bro where are you you were just out here yeah you're right here you're right here we're going to maybe maybe manage you maybe not is he gonna buy something Oh, no, he's going to sit here on his laptop. Okay, he's retired. So I guess is he now officially? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, manage employee. Call an employee. Maybe that's what we have to do. You have just called all employees. All right, so hopefully he will come over here and kind of take care of business. If not, we'll fire him too. Uh, I don't understand why there's like not many people coming to shop. That's kind of throwing me off. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong in that aspect or if I just should have like picked a better world or something or maybe the lot type. I don't know what lot type I actually have to have. Let me see. I don't have any friends whatsoever, but let me okay, see. If so we neither of them wanted to come over, but we have another lady over here who is coming in and looking around at the terrariums. Ooh, is she gonna buy? A, is she gonna buy an egg? She might buy an egg. I would buy a dragon egg. I don't know. She's just kind of browsing right now, so we'll see if she actually purchases anything. Okay, she's over here talking to him. Whatever. Oh, honey's coming back. Are you coming to actually purchase something? Love to see it. Okay, I'm just making sure. Hopefully you don't come over here and try to steal since we fired you. <laughs> that would really suck. But we've got to come. Okay, here comes another person. Okay, okay. Oh, she bought a cat litter box. Okay, so we'll have to try to take care of that. She's over here trying to flirt with this guy who's going to hopefully buy an egg. All right, let me see. Um, all right, so we've got quite a few people here. For some reason, um, I don't know if it's because he was on the lot and I hired him. And I just went ahead and fired him and I have hired a new person. We've had quite a few sales going on here that I kind of can't keep up with at the moment because I was trying to get a new employee going on. But we've uh, sold this little guy here and it looks like somebody just bought this. And also, I believe a dragon egg? Maybe not. There was something somebody purchased, I thought, over here, but maybe it was this ball no okay maybe not i could have swore that somebody purchased something over there Hope oh here it is it's this little guy right here i knew so i was like somebody purchased something else i don't think anyone has bought anything outside it doesn't look like but that's okay no big deal i'm still getting the hang of this but all i can tell you for sure is this is really fun and i really love having something new added I think he might have purchased this too. Yeah, somebody purchased that. And then it looks like somebody purchased this little guy here too. So we're actually making a lot of sales. This is exciting. This is really exciting. I love to see it. Okay, Benjamin, where are you at? I want to see. Did you go home, bro? I think Benjamin went home too. Like, where are my employees? I guess it's just me. Call in employees. Let's try again. Okay, she's just kind of restocking, and I mean, right now she's kind of fine and able to take care of it by herself, but I don't know if I messed up adding this door in here, but I didn't want everybody to kind of come here and come inside my store, but whatever, it's fine. Here's Benjamin, he's right over here. Um, manage employee, okay. Why can't we? You're not the manager here? Yes, the fuck I am. What are you even talking about? I am the manager. Okay. Now I'm the manager again. Okay, let's try this again. Change role, store assistant, and let's see if we can get him kind of going here. Okay, manage uniform. His uniform is fine. We're just going to kind of leave it like that. And we've got a couple more people. Let's check our business info. So, oh my gosh, we have a negative 60 account balance, which is lovely 2385 total sales rank one and 235 exp uh, xp points i was at expiration points uh, customer satisfaction 12 points we're still one star but like i said we're just getting started i don't really know who is a um klepto so definitely the observant trait would be a very good trait to have whoa <gasps> What just happened? Oh my god, I just got so excited. Bro, 
You're creeping me out. Oh, my dog has just gained a new rank level. Oh my gosh. Objects can now be sold with a higher markup value. Okay, that is awesome. I did not expect that to happen. So yay, we got a new rank level. Let's go ahead and restock this guy. Uh, let me see. What does it say? So we're a level two or a two star business. Yay. We have 720 simoleons account balance. Oh my gosh, customer satisfaction, yes. Business rewards, 1,000 simoleon cash reward. This is so exciting. Oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. Actually, do, can we, maybe we'll, wait, I'm gonna actually do that. Uh, we're also gonna restock this. Benjamin, I wish you would come inside and maybe, you know, do some work here, but we'll figure that out on a different day because I'm having way too much fun having her just kind of do everything. She's just doing it all on her own. And you know what? That's fine. It's Gucci. Oh my gosh. Somebody bought the bed too. Wow. People are really purchasing stuff. If she doesn't stop playing the fucking guitar, I swear. I, I really regret inviting Honey to be any part of this business because now she won't go away. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, is he actually? Oh my God. Benjamin is actually doing some work. He's coming over here to restock this ball. Perfect. Okay. I love it, love it, love it. This might be a really long, like, review, and I don't know how long I've been filming, but this is just so exciting, and I love the fact that there's just, like, new stuff, you know? I really do. I really, 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 really do. All right, I was going to see what else we could do. Uh, so it says we could, like, set prices different, modify the cost. Oh, the store is closing at 7 p.m. Thank you for shopping with us, and we hope to see you again real soon. All right, so I guess this door does help. It makes everybody leave, hopefully. So that is super exciting. I love how they close, like, an hour early. She's like, I am out of here. Oh, my goodness. So I was hoping we were going to get robbed, maybe, or, you know, something along those lines. But we did get a two-star, and our rank went up and everything. So that is super exciting, girl. The face she's making at Honey is exactly how I feel. I regret hiring your crazy ass. Uh, she's like, just get out of my store. So anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. I, of course, will have the download link in the description down below so you guys can download this for yourself. I cannot wait to like dive into this more in my own personal game. This is just super exciting and I appreciate people like this who create new things for The Sims 3 for us players who still play Sims 3. This is a great addition and I love it. Like I'm obsessed. Like this is going to be so fun to do and I can see a lot of people having a lot of fun with this. So I definitely recommend downloading this mod for freaking sure. So don't forget to check that out. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all of that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.